The hidden secrets of St. Peter's Basilica, a marvel in the heart of Vatican City. A marvel of art and architecture with hidden meanings can be found in the center of Vatican City. But what is hidden within St. Peter's Basilica's magnificent walls? Today, we share the tales and information that many people still don't know. Hello to everybody! We are currently in St. Peter's Basilica, one of the world's most famous locations, where majesty and spirituality coexist with the modern. We shall uncover information and secrets that are just as fascinating as the basilica itself as we explore its interior more. So, fasten your seatbelt as we travel across time. St. Peter, one of Jesus' twelve disciples and the first bishop of Rome, later known as the Pope, is the earliest figure in the history of St. Peter's Basilica. Tradition holds that Peter was interred in a necropolis to the north of the Circus of Nero, following his martyrdom in 64 AD. The grottos beneath its majestic altar contain a location recognized as St. Peter's ultimate resting place, a little-known fact. Emperor Constantine the Great began construction on the first large basilica on this site, currently known as Old St. Peter's Basilica, around the beginning of the 4th century. Constantine commanded the building of this basilica over the location of St. Peter's grave. This structure served as a significant place of Christian devotion for more than a thousand years. The old St. Peter's Basilica had been in place for more than a millennium by the 15th century, but it was beginning to age and have structural problems. Plans for a new basilica emerged as a result of the realization that a new church was necessary. This was the start of an ambitious building project that would last for more than a century. Many well-known architects and painters of the time were drawn to the ambitious idea to reconstruct St. Peter's Basilica. In 1506, Donato Bramante was the first to present his idea, which envisioned a centrally located church with a huge dome. Other renowned architects like Raphael, Antonio de Sangalo the Younger, and Baldassare Peruzzi contributed to the project's evolution over the years. But around the middle of the 16th century, Michelangelo made a lasting impression on the undertaking. He strengthened the building, strengthened Barmonte's original intentions, and created the magnificent dome that would come to symbolize the basilica. Giacomo della Porta and Domenico Fontana would slightly modify and finalize Michelangelo design. Visitors are in awe at the site since it is the tallest dome in the entire planet. Carlo Maderno added the finishing touches by lengthening the nav and creating the facade while work on the building went on into the 15th century. Another notable artist of the time, Gian Lorenzo Bernini, made a contribution by planning the sizable Piazza San Pietro in front of the basilica and creating the baldachin, a sizable bronze canopy over the main altar. More than 120 years after the foundation stone for the new basilica was placed, Pope Urban VIII eventually dedicated St. Peter's Basilica in 1626. Here's a small secret now. The Bramante Staircase, often called the Whispering Gallery, is located in the basilica. Because of its special design, a whisper at one end can be easily heard at the other, bringing the whispers of history to life. We hope you've enjoyed this trip through time, discovering the mysteries and wonders of St. Peter's Basilica as we draw to a close, a location where spirituality and magnificence coexist, where every stone bears witness to a former event, a location where every visitor is welcomed by the echoes of eternity and the whispers of history. St. Peter's Basilica stands as a living example of human ingenuity and divine inspiration in the center of Vatican City. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you loved the tour, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more wonderful explorations throughout the world. This is the Wanderlust Journals, signing off.